so one more time. Uh, let me delete that. So selecting the item, say new code, new code function method, and using the name of the class for the name of the function that I'm adding. And it's going to be, uh, the fluid will understand that this is the name of the constructor for the class. It will recognize that the name of the class is the same as the name of the function. Therefore, this is a construction function. Clicking OK. So now the constructor is added. And in the fluid philosophy, now uh, this function, this constructor for our class, by the way, if I uh, jump to edit and show source code again. So this time, looking at my uh, header, which uh, will be generated for me when I say write code and save it. Uh, so now I have a signature of the constructor added to my, uh, to my class definition. But also in the source, well, there's still no code written for my constructor. So I guess it's just, uh, it's still staying empty. There is no body or uh, any definition for my constructor. So it's still here in, in very uh, beginning stage. So the next thing is, is that now selecting the constructor, it's important that not selecting the class, but selecting the constructor, I'm going to say new group. Um, a grouping options are stored under this uh, new group window. And I'm just going to add the window first, right? So add new window. The new little window is, is open for me. I can, I can resize it a little bit and, and move around. And so this is my, my window. It has no title. It has nothing in it. But the important thing is that unless you name it, unless you name it, it will not be added as a member to our brand new class. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click here. OK. And um, uh, by double clicking here, I will switch to C++ and give, give it a name. How about this? Name of this uh, window uh, inside my class is going to be M underscore, which is a typical you know, kind of thing to do with uh, member variables. I typically prefix my member variables with M underscore. And again, after switching to C++ uh, tab, uh, say, um, well, I can, mm, I guess, um, I can name it uh, when, um, we'll name it timer, right? Because the, uh, the entire program will represent some sort of a timer very simple timer. So this member variable will represent now, will represent now, and this is after double clicking on empty window, the properties dialog opens, will represent the actual window. All right, that's pretty much all I want, and I'm going to say close, so that's remembered. And this time, if you look at uh, the designer outline, the project, uh, you know, of entries here. Now my window is named window timer. Double window is a recommended type of class and default class for windows in 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 uh, Fultec and FLTK library. So the next thing is that I'm going to add a button, right? Uh, well, actually, no. This is code properties. The button is here. Oh. Wait a minute. I just I need to remove. I made this mistake clicking here, the shortcut. So now, selecting uh, again, selecting uh, the window this time. I am going to click the button, and it instantly does two things for me. First of all, it positions the button someplace on the window, and it opens the set of properties. I am going to say, okay, I am going to name it M B T N for button and say start the way I just did this on on my you know prototype so one button is going to be named start in the GUI tab here I'm going to add this as a label and say start okay so close and then uh, resize it right just resize it make it usable the start button it's possible now to click the widget bin again 
and say I want a button uh, and just create another button or it's possible to just highlight this button press control C and control V to sort of like duplicate it right so now I duplicated the button created another button now that it's selected I'm going to double click go to this and say stop right so the other one is stop in the GUI the label that shows up on top of my button in the C++ uh, tab I'm going to modify the name of it to say stop okay so close this and so I have two buttons start and stop I have a little window I can resize it here right and so I can then go and save my project um, I can at any time actually there's a well, hopefully it's gonna do it quickly because sometimes this drive just uh, slows me down uh, I'm just trying to access my drive and sometimes it gives me those pauses for some reason So while this is still happening, I'm going to go to project, right? Actually, the Visual Studio is, is empty uh, shell. So I'm just going to say file and open existing project, open the one that I already created. And uh, it's going to be located on my uh, D drive, right? on my D drive under 255 and um, 255 what did we do with this is it is it here or is it on my portable wait a minute uh, 255 it's got to be here yes uh, it's called timer okay so I'm going to reopen timer solution created last week so that I don't have to create a brand new project. So this opens. Let's see how my fluid window does. So apparently it was able to write everything, uh, save what I did so far. And uh, if I again say edit and um, show source code, you can see that my class definition got expanded. So I still have my constructor, but a window and two buttons, which are the types of objects being added, are now added as member, uh, member variables to my class. In the source code, now I have a real constructor, which actually does something. We will go ahead and explore this uh, after we go and uh, essentially switch from the designer to our to our, uh, to our real project where we want to try to compile all of this so I'm going to say close and um, so far I only saved my fluid project but this time I'm going to say write code and uh, when I say write write code what happens is that under directory where the fluid project is saved two files are generated right so here's the today's date 3:53 p.m. I just generated those th those two files I am pretty much done doing my design I just need the two buttons and the window and uh, a class that sort of like holds everything together with its constructor that actually is capable of creating it creating the those visual comp components so since I saved everything, I hope that I'm pretty much that's all I need. I need those three member variables and the window. So I'm just going to file and quit and exit out of Fluid. Now here in my project, which I just reopened, just a reminder that this is my project created last week. Uh, I added my main code here. This is the way it looks like since last week. I'm saying uh, fluid timer, create a window, then a window show, and then run. Okay, so there's, this, is, this is all that the, the, the main uh, function contains. At the same time, 
I automatically added fluid, uh, fluid generated code to my project. And here it is. We, again, we will examine it in a second. So first time, I tried to compile it and make sure that I display everything and do, uh, you know, and that I can uh, finish my work properly and everything compiles. So I did that. You can watch the video recording. There is a, there is a bit of a, a work done in that area. But right now, I am going to change my direction. And instead of using something created by, by the designer directly, instead, I am going to write my own code in a separate file. Obviously, separate file, because in case if I need to go back to Fluid and regenerate uh, something from, from there, um, you know, uh, I, it will completely replace these files. So I should not be uh, writing my own code in Fluid-generated uh, files. But it did do this, and of course, it also generated the header file. Uh, so we will say few things about this in a few minutes. But right now, this is the header file generated for us, and this is the implementation file generated for us. Uh, fluid timer UI.h, fluid timer UI.cxx, which is another typical extension for C file. Now, this code written by us. So this is what I'm going to do next. I am I will jump to my project. I guess um, I will jump to the location of my project. This is my main file here, and I will create now my own files. And I will just follow some of the notes that I made here. Um, okay, how about if I say new text file? I should probably save it so that we 